And that is one. <laughs> Hello everyone, my name is Bottletop Hornet and welcome back to another episode of Vault Hunters. <laughs> we are going to attempt to get some stuff done today. Oh, I need to put an upgrade into that to get ourselves a bunch of these. So I have 30 vault rocks here and we've now got one fully completed. I kind of want to see if I can get through every single one of them in today's episode in preparation for a serious vaulting day. So do I have, I do. Let's just go put an upgrade into this seed one here. Beautiful. So, I'm pretty much going to be draining my entire system here in an attempt to get as many ready as possible. I am also going to have to go and collect some of it. <laughs> Damn, already running into problems. So, for starters, let's think about this. Let's put away some things we don't need. I am uh, going to see how many I can actually make. And the goal here is to basically use whatever necessary, be it from here or this system here, to craft these up because my goal is that all of these runs that I do should hopefully get us into a really, really good position loot-wise. Mm, okay, so I just need some soul sand. I should probably clear this out though. A little bit of that. Ooh, all of these are ready to go. Hey, look at that. We've got a new a mega statue and terracotta. Nice. Might just uh, pop you right there. Okay. <laughs> now that that's sorted, what else have we got in here? Uh, so much junk. We can check whether or not any of it goes into this system. Uh, one piece. <laughs> in fact, actually, we can probably start making use of all of this stuff. So we've got great concrete, can probably go here. Let's try and get stuff in a little bit of an order color wise. Wait, that's blackstone. Blackstone will go over here. And this is gonna take a long time, but let me get that sorted. I'll go grab myself a little bit of soul sand and let's see what our luck is like with the rest of these crystals. And that's two. <laughs> so, oh, lucky I uh, did a little bit extra when I was out there. But it looks like we're going back into the nether again. You can see that this is going to be a little bit of a resource gathering episode. But I can put that stuff away there. Uh, soul soil. Huh, I did not mean to pick those up. Soul soil should be able to have a spot somewhere over in here. Let's just put it there. And... There we go. So we need 6,830 and we've only got 3,700. <sighs> Back we go. Thankfully, it's quite easy to gather it with this mining gadget. So what I'm actually going to do is line myself up with the center of this. And why not just do a little bit of some stuff that we've kind of put on the back burner, I suppose. But uh, if I line myself up with the center, which is that line, beautiful. What height are we at? 87? Mm, let's say we want to get down to... 72 is my favorite number. So, how about there? Yeah. Let's make ourselves a little bit of a tunnel. Alright. Well, <laughs> one fall... Whoa. Should probably be enough. I think it's a sign. God, mega projects would be easier in vanilla if we had one of these. <laughs> so, what I can also do is uh, charge this back up, which shouldn't take long at all. There we go. And I should have got more than enough in that trip to uh, get this finished up. Or maybe not. I got a lot less than I thought I did. Thankfully, <laughs> it was just enough. Okay, a handful of scrap, a little bit of kelp, just a smidge more, and some rotten taters. Beautiful. That's three. <laughs> huh. Why won't you stack in there? S is two the biggest? No. What's different about you? It has one tag. Very strange. That's okay. Because what we're going to do here is probably grab... Sure. 
a golden barrel. And we're going to put it up here just next to... I don't like how that sits there. I don't like how that sits there either. Perfect. We're going to put this here and fill up... Well, not fill up, but put all of our stuff into that one so that it's ready to go one after the other. And all we have to do is sort of just heal our gear, blah, 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 take care of ourselves, etc. So let's grab another one. This one's probably manageable. Some string, five cakes. We need a little bit more of the charcoal and we should have enough of this. Easy. It's not incredibly fast, but it is still helpful. And there we go. That is four. So, rather than just taking up the entire episode of me counting and doing all of that, putting in resources and stuff, I'm going to montage up a bunch of work towards getting this thing filled out. I think I do have a bell. I do. I only need one, though. Do I have Podzel here? Not that much, but we can get more. And if I can get that all sorted, get as many of those as I can done with the resources that I have, then we can move on to preparing some other things that we might need, like a few extra potions and other little bits and pieces, maybe even making sure we have some spare armor, spare totems, and that way we're really kitted out and prepared for a proper stream day. Yeah. So with that, Let's get gathering crystals, let's do the materials thing, and I'll see you on the other side of this montage. Hope you all enjoy. This one, done, and this one here, ooh, a lucky one, that's, that's kind of lucky. <laughs> we now have completed all of the crystals that I had available. So just there we have 27, 30, 30 total crystals, and with this one, which should be fairly easy to do, uh, three of these, blah, 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 14 of those, blah, blah, blah. 44 white concrete and just some lilac, which I need to do a couple. Boop, boop, and spam click. So with that, I have put in quite a few hours of work to get all those prepared. Because in reality, these are probably going to be the last vault crystals that we use in this series. I'm hoping. This should get us uh, quite a way towards level 100 as well as just uh, having a bit of fun to finish off this series, since a couple of days after this episode is released, 
Season 3 of the Vault Hunters SMP is starting with Iskel and the crew, plus a couple of new people, including Chosen Architect, who I've been watching. A lot of fun. Some amazing creators. They're starting the new version of Vault Hunters. And then shortly after that, uh, hopefully, I'd say within a month, us folks will get access to it too. So I'm actually going to take this opportunity to quickly fill you folks in on what my plan is. I run an SMP for a little group that I like to call the Vaulties. There's a handful of us that stream it, and myself, I played on it and decided to do it as a separate world to my YouTube world. But for season two of the Vault Hunter series on YouTube, I'm actually going to play on the same world. That does mean that there's going to be a little bit of a, a difference to the way the series happens, in that there may be some progress that happens off screen on streams, as well as we'll have server mates who can potentially get some mods that I don't have to pay for, etc. And we share some resources and farms. So I'll still be making my base, I'll still be leveling up and trying different things and exploring the, uh, the game by myself. But there's also the opportunity to pop in and interact with some others and see what they're getting up to on the server as well. So hopefully you folks like the sound of that and I think it's going to be a lot of fun and it's going to mean that I don't have to split my time between extra worlds. <laughs> I'm already doing that with the vanilla and this one. Trying to do two separate Vault Hunters worlds again, just no, <laughs> it's not going to work. So with that being said, and you guys all filled in, we have all of the crystals that we need here and you would have noticed during that montage, I actually found a couple of incredibly rare friends. Now, I don't exactly know what the uh, <laughs> what the chances of this happening are, but you are a very rare one. And somewhere around here, we also have a green pig. Now, I'm thinking before <laughs> this series ends, I want to get these folks back to my base. And there is a way I can do that. Uh, oh, hello, Mr. Watermelon. <laughs> so we've got a green pig, which is quite rare. I think you can get gold chickens, but uh, I wasn't keeping an eye out for that. I've seen one in a vault before, but not in the overworld. So I want these folks in my base as a little bit of a trophy. And the way we're going to do that is actually with something we have access to, thanks to these things. If we open up this and do waystones... We actually have these war plates. Now they're a little bit expensive, but like I said at the start of this episode, I'm willing to spend as many resources as I need to in this episode to get what I want done in preparation for finalizing things up. So I did actually craft all my burgers together. So we're going to eat that before the uh, end of the series. And yeah, it's going to be a bunch of fun. But what we can do here is craft a couple of these. Three, four, beautiful, and we have everything that we need. So now we can put this down, and when I broke it, I got an attuned shard for it. So we're going to need a second one. Let's see what we have here. Uh, one, two, three, four. Oh, I can make four. So we have that second one, and what I can do is go over to my purple cow, head over to my little green friend over here, and if I place this down on the ground here, when we go into here, we're going to get a uh, another attuned shard. What I can do is put this one in there, and I should be able to grab my little friend. Yeah! Okay. So it works much the same as a warp stone or a waste stone, but you can move entities on it. Yes, such a simple thing. We don't have to go over into the nether and go along the nether roof or anything ridiculous like that. So, there you go, my friend. Now all I've got to do is head back over. Plate was not bound. Oh, of course. There we go. <laughs> Pick this up, head back to our little purple friend, and in a matter of moments, we have gone from having these thousands of blocks away from home to... Oh, no. <laughs> Buddy. <laughs> Come back here. Quickly go through there and... Move, 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 move. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> In vanilla, that would take so long. So, so long. So, we might make a little spot for these folks at another point, but I'm actually going to pop back through here, pick that up, and how far away am I? Fairly far. 
but that's okay. We'll grab that and we'll head back home. Just a short flight. Also, I can delete those two. Nice. So, I don't want to uh, lose those or get them mixed up. So I'm just going to put them over here with the, uh, the opposite shard in each one so that I know that I can do this and it'll just teleport me over to the next one there. And they can be used later or just uh, left there as an option. Now, in reality, all I have to do is prepare myself a bunch of things like potions and such. So I've got a couple here and I don't think I have anything in this system. No. What about carrots? I've only got a handful of golden carrots. So it might be smart to grab a few stacks of this, head over to our little friends down here and grab some more of those and probably craft up a few potions. Now I've got some here that can be done and a couple there as well. Got a bunch of golden apples, but I also have, um, maybe it's in loot? Nope. Maybe it's in utility. Oops. Yeah. So I've got a bunch of normal potions here, which I can convert into splash potions. Nice. Something like that will make them a little bit stronger and I'm probably going to need oh, a little bit more gunpowder. But those few things should be fairly easy to get set up. The other thing I want to do is quickly look through these, but I don't think any of this stuff back here is actually worth my time. The more important thing would to become over to these ones and just check. I do have stuff like that. That's pretty good. Not bad at all. So since, like I said, I'm using whatever resources I have available. Oop, that's not what I wanted to do. I can craft up a handful of these and take them back with me. Get some splash potions going. And while they do that, let's see what we roll on these things. Ooh. Plus one to reach, weakening cloud and attack. Not the best. Let's hope that we get something decent on this one. Ooh, okay. Cool down reduction, but plus one to strength. The plus one to strength is actually really, really good. Could be handy if we get into a bit of a fight at some point. So I'm gonna prep up a handful of these things. I've got some random junk in there as well, apparently. Get myself a good supply sorted. Then it's just a matter of making ourselves some soul flames because I'm not aiming for artifacts. We're gonna soul flame up all those crystals and make sure we're safe and see what kind of loot we can get. Yeah. All right. So, I have a double chest worth in this boss crate of the splash potions of healing and a couple of extra here, as well as some extra food, and we have 14 repair cores. And those repair cores are going to be good because the armor that we have right now is pretty decent. It's just going to be making sure that it stays alive. So, uh, none of them have been repaired yet, as far as I can remember. Doesn't look like it. So we can just heal these up when we get the chance. We are probably going to have to organize another Vault Paxel or two. So there is that, but that's something that I might do uh, on the actual stream day itself. And we always have some spare netherite stuff. So now it should just be a matter of making ourselves some soul flames, which needs some of that, which needs some of this. And the beauty of this system is it should be quite quick to do. And how many do we actually have in the end? I think it was 31, right? Uh, 27 plus four is 31. So I wanna make sure I have at least that many. We have two there, so I need 29. Three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, and 29. It can only hold 24. <laughs> okay. Um, let's grab them all out of there and we'll put them across the inside of here as sort of a opposite of what we have above. Yeah, that's pretty good. So we now have all the soul flame that we need to make all these crystals uh, afterlife. We have plenty of splash potions. We have a decent supply of food. We may need more if we say get a hunger vault or something. We've got plenty of repair cores and we got some buddies, <laughs> but we can also fix this up. That shouldn't take too long to charge. Nice. Now I still am hoping to make a couple more of these, but we need the resources for it. Oops. And those resources are the vault dust and the vault nuggets. 
So that's what this stream day is going to be all about. I'm going to make up some pedestals. Mm, 14 should be enough because I don't feel like on our uh, on our stream day I'm going to be doing more than that. So let's do that there. That should be... Mm, I don't like the way that looks. There we go. That should be all of the uh, crystals that we want to run. At least on the stream day. So, one there, there. Doop, 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 do do, and one more. Okay, phew, <laughs> it took a surprising amount of time to get all of those crystals prepared. But the beauty is we've got enough here for this stream day, as well as a bunch of extras for after the fact. So, my plan is I'm going to stream at 6 a.m. on Saturday the 5th of November, Australian Eastern Daylight Savings Time. Now, I'm going to put up on the screen a bunch of different time zones and what that translates to, but hopefully that allows most people to jump in at one point or another of the stream, and we're going to see how long it takes to maybe, hopefully, run all 14 of these... Uh, of these crystals here. The reason I'm doing it at that time is because, well, for me, midnight on that Saturday is when season three of the new Vault Hunters series comes out, or sorry, the Vault Hunters SMP, the official one, with Iskel and all the others. So I don't want to, uh, I don't want to be competing with that, obviously, and I'd like to get these out of the way so that I can relax and maybe catch some of that myself. So once again, I will put those on the screen, another time just so you can check that and see what the time will be for somewhere around your area or use it to convert something on google and with that i'm gonna call the episode here been a little bit of a funny one because most of it has been just off camera doing a bunch of stuff i have used up so many resources a lot of this stuff has just disappeared and um, uh, I'm running a little low, <laughs> but we are ready for a really big stream day. So I'm going to say thank you very much for watching and thank you to my Patreon supporters. You guys are amazing. I appreciate the continued support and I hope everyone's looking forward to a couple more episodes on here, trying to tidy up a few things and have a bit of fun. Most likely the episodes that are to come on this series are just going to be fun ones, doing a few silly things, getting a few things tidied up. <sighs> It's a little disappointing that I had a little bit of a life stuff going on that stops me from being able to work too hard on this, this build and this series, but I am excited for the next one. So with that being said, I hope you all take care of yourselves until then. I hope to catch a couple of you on the stream day. Um, I know it's fairly short notice, but it would still be nice to uh, hang out and, and see what we can get done. I'll try and save all of the loot that we get as well and until that time take care of yourselves and i'll see you all in the next one all right everyone bye bye uh